still waiting. I suppose we're going to have to make a video. Everybody else has got their full-size C64 Maxis. Uh, I still can't order one in the United States yet. And I won't have one for another week. I might have an idea. I'm Mr. Gigabytes. And this is a C64 Mini. And we're going to do another upgrade. Okay, so for those of you who don't quite understand what I just did in the in the uh, first few minutes of video, uh, I took a small uh, SanDisk uh, USB drive, and it's it's a super small uh, drive. It's only it's only about as big as the connector, and I uh, plugged it in. It's a 32 gigabyte SanDisk. USB drive. I plugged it in. I had to chop the uh, chop the leg off inside in order to get it to fit completely. Um, it just wasn't enough room to keep that one leg. And so this, if you can see it, it's just it, it's not attached anymore. There's no screw underneath this foot. Um, but now we have 32 gigabytes of internal memory. We're still it's it's still the same C64 Mini we had before. So we have three plus one. So we have all four ports open, which is way more than you'll ever need. But here's here's the thing: we actually on this Mini now, we have if you're using a USB drive, we have one more port available to us than the Maxi. So there, guy, Maxi owners, you know. <laughs> You're never going to use that many ports anyway, so it's kind of academic. But 
the neat thing is is you've got you've got internal memory now internal storage on your c64 mini i hear some of you folks saying well but but i don't want to take the mini apart every time i want to load more games well of course you don't but if you've done this if you've done this mod already all you got to do is take this plug the uh plug it into a plug it into a USB extension port and just like that you can access your drive so yeah now you have now your now your mini is a 32 gigabyte flash drive as well. Isn't that cool? So yeah, that's the uh, that's the internal memory mod that you can do once you do the original mod. And thanks for watching.